Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, man. Heard you're interested in getting some denim. Yeah, I mean, I've been wearing regular jeans my entire life, and I just kind of want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, well, that's, that's great. Yeah, no, have a seat. So, uh, what size are you? I'm a 34 by 32. Oh, a what? A 34 by 32. Why are there two numbers? Uh, what do you mean? The first is the first number is the waist size. The second is the the length of the. the I figured you'd know this. Oh no, 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 they're not hemmed. You have to do that yourself. Oh, well, no. Okay, I can do that myself. Okay, good. Just make sure that you use a chain stitch to hem them. A what? Should I be writing this down? But really, most guys cuff them. Oh, well, okay. Then I'll just do that. Single cuff, double cuff, pin roll, long roll, inner roll? I, uh, I, I guess I'll just figure it out when I get them. So uh, what fit do you want? Uh, normal, I guess. Uh, do you have anything boot cut? Uh, I mean, all right, so what are my options? High rise tapered, slim straight, weird guy, classic cut, skinny, skeleton skinny? Uh, yeah, just classic, I guess. Did you say weird guy? Okay, and uh, color? Just. Uh, just dark blue is fine. All right, uh, natural indigo or synthetic? Uh, uh, natural. Okay, loop dyed, slasher dyed, rope dyed? I, uh, I, well, uh, what? We going with a normal right hand twill or left hand twill or maybe even a broken twill? Wait, wait, back up, slasher dyed? You probably want to eliminate leg twist, huh? Uh, yeah, that sounds terrible. Are we going with selvage? Oh yes, yes, that I know. The, the more exposed selvage, the better. <sighs> okay, uh, what Japanese mill? Wait, does it have to be Japanese? Oh, okay, well, uh, whatever you recommend. All right, uh, what weight? Uh, thick. 21 ounce? Sure, that's fine. Maybe 32 ounce. Yeah, no, I, I guess that's good too. 32 ounces is gonna be hard to get. So, all right, then, yeah, 21 is fine, whatever. Okay, well, it looks like there's a couple of options for you. Um, that'll be about $375. Whoa, all right, that's, that's actually a lot more than I thought I was gonna pay. But, you know, whatever, I wanna do this right. I can't wait to get these things and, and you know, jump in my car and head off to the- Wait, do, do you have a leather interior? Yeah, it's tan leather. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna wear these jeans on those seats. Crocking. Crocking? Indigo transfer. You're gonna get a lot of that in the first six months, at least before the first wash. Six months? I'm not gonna wait six months. Oh, that reminds me, of course you're going unsanforized, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Right, so just remember, we have to factor in the shrinkage aspect. The shrinkage? All right, look, I I've gotta ask. These things are way more expensive than regular jeans. Uh, you can't wear them on leather, otherwise they're gonna transfer. You have to wait six months before tossing them into the washing machine. Oh, oh you don't put them in the washing machine. You don't? Then how in the heck do you wash them? Tub soak. Tub soak. Yeah, but you'll need to wash the tub afterwards, or otherwise it's gonna stain. And make sure that you get the special denim wash. I'll, I'll put that down here. And you go through all of this, why? Fades. Fades? Yeah, man. Whiskers, train tracks, stacks, honeycombs, love it. Okay, all right, all right. Clearly this isn't for me. Um, how about some boots? Can you help me pick out some cool boots? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, of course. Mokto, engineer, packer boot, roper boot, lace to toe, button boot, cowboy boot, work boot, snow boot. You're, you're gonna wanna make sure that you go double row stitch down, of course. And don't forget that there are some great Goodyear welted options, but you know, really, a lot of people try to go with the hand welted, which is what's better than anything out there. And you know, people will really argue about that. And there's a lot of different places you can get that stuff.